Welcome to my 100% playthrough of Arcane Dimensions and a Nightmare difficulty running through the Quake Spasm engine. This is my second attempt on this level. I got just to the end where the two shamblers spawn in and they cornered me and I died. So we'll give this another shot. So first off we start in a grave. It reminds me of blood. Until we get out here that is. So you hold jump to get out of here. Now, first off, we kill these lost souls hovering around. There's another one. And we go over this side. And kill the, this wizard here. He'll spawn in lost souls. If you're lucky, he won't teleport away. Sometimes he can teleport away like three times before we kill him. Anyway, we'll get this ammo. And yeah, we're looking pretty good. So we get the axe equipped and we take care of these bodies that rise up. Now you'll notice sometimes I'll do leap attacks like this. You have to wait for their shoulders to raise up before you raise them, otherwise they won't go on the ground when you attack them. I'll show you an example. Ah, oh, no, actually he did. Maybe it's just RNG. Either way. We'll, go, we'll be getting up to that area a bit later, but there's a crossbowman and a normal knight in here. So basically, kill the crossbowman first. Oh no, they're both knights. Okay, so just use your axe. It kills them in one hit. Some of the stained glass can be broken, so you can see there's holes in it. <clears throat> and just jump in there to get some more shells, if you're um, not terrible at jumping like I am. Alright, so for this area... We want to destroy the bodies on the ground, because they'll be coming back later, and kill the spiders that appear. There's another one, and you see these lights in the ground? Above them are traps, they shoot down um, spikes, but with this third one from the end... Did you notice a pupae sound from Unreal? The pain sound? But yeah, there's a switch up there, so... That opens this, so we can get a thunderbolt. So after we get that, we go back down this way. <clears throat> and here, peekaboo shoot a couple of enemies, there's going to be a lost soul as well, so kill a lost soul. Peekaboo shoot that crossbowman, just to be safe. And I've got another secret there, which opens this, there's two spiders, kill that one and that one. Get the batteries and rockets. Then we go through here. Now there's a couple of lost souls here. Four of them, I think. One, two, three, four. So we'll be getting the bone key later. We will be opening that. And the flesh key later. But we're not getting that. Because we get red armor and another secret. And these keys you can only use once. But anyway, we're standing in the switch. This will open. Uh, jump through this one because it opens first. There's a few crossbowmen here. So... We peekaboo shoot them on a staircase. Um, I think there's four. So there's a few enemies here, so we'll take care of them first. Get the axe out and take care of them once you're not gonna get surrounded. Spider there. And yeah, you'll notice there's quite a bit of stained glass here that we can break. This one too for nails. Um these come to life eventually. But yeah, there's more crossbowmen we need to deal with. We can see him there. Right, and there should be one more. Yep. Okay, so when we come through here, there's going to be a few enemies over here. So, axe. Conserve as much ammo as possible. There's spare health. Get all the supplies you need. Alright, so now we're going to the bottom. So the plan is, when we grab the armor, two spiders will spawn. One there, one there. So grab the armor, back up here, hide behind this pillar, take care of this one, then peek out and kill this one. They take three shots. 
All right, so go through here. Guillotine. Lure them through. Most of them will die. There's a few spiders here. Um, which side? There's one over here. That's right. And this area, rush in, shoot this immediately. Hide behind these walls because it has a hit scan immolation attack. As well as a projectile based attack which shoots out spikes. Then we attack these wizards. They open up sequentially. Now we just want to run laps around here. Make sure you don't get caught on any other enemies like I just did. But make sure these die first. Then there's another one that spawns in here that spawns lost souls. So, now that they're all dead, we'll take care of the rest of the enemies with the axe, apart from the lost soul, because they explode when you kill them. Alright. So, for another secret, we jump up here. And we hit all four of these. We may as well grab that gold key now, since we're here, but... That opens up the health if you need it. I definitely will later. This is a hard level. On Nightmare. Lots of enemies. 247 in total with 12 secrets. But here's the third one. So, there's a battery. We jump on this brick. Unless you want to, you know, circle jump there. Then we've got the bone key. So... We're going to save the bone key. We'll use a flesh key to get the widow make a shotgun. Oh, I got hit. Damn. And again. Good thing there's all this health here. Okay. Now we have the gold key. We'll go through here with the axe equipped. There's a double barrel shotgun there, but just grab it, back out, and jump back in the rubble so you can see what goes on. And you can easily pick these enemies off. So, usually I take care of the these knights, since they take three axe hits with a double barrel, but if you get them caught up here, then you don't need to worry about using ammo on them. See? There's not much they can do if you use that. It's pretty cheesy, but we're playing on Nightmare. We can take all that we can get. So, for the future... We'll shoot that open, because there's a switch in there that opens up the secret a bit later in the level. But first, take care of these crossbowmen. And these knights that run down. Should be one on the other side as well. Now, pay close attention. There's track marks here. Implying that this can be moved. Now... It's not quite obvious at first, but you notice anything weird here? This one, a different pattern. Moving that across, exposing a button that will hit with the axe, which will open up this. So, this is our fourth secret. The secrets in this level really make it a lot more doable on Nightmare difficulty. Anyway, I'm going to leave that there. We're going to need it later. And there's going to be ogres up here. So, just lure them out, get them to shoot their grenades down the stairs. They can't bounce back up if you stand here. But yeah, look out for this other one. So, we first want to take care of this wizard. And get out your double barrel and do the ogre thing. This one has a hammer, so you want to back up a bit more. It sends out a big shockwave once you... um once the enemy completes the animation, and it can send you flying in the air. So yeah, step a bit further back than you usually do with most ogres. Get more shells. We'll go through this first. There's health up here, if you need it. Alright, so the idea in this area is, if you need the armor to begin with, you just grab it. But, um... You'll notice there's a lot of saw blades in the ground here. So, the idea is to wait for this one. Then you drop down, get the thunderbolt out, and attack that as quick as possible. Because, yeah, 
we'll be close to death dealing with that and all of these saws here, considering that we need to now go through these saws and press these buttons. Now, don't feel too bad about accidentally picking up health, because this is the only time we're going to be here. See, we still have one health pack left, so if we really need it, we can come back and get it. Anyway, pressing all those buttons, lower this elevator, which we can go up now. We'll press this button and go to the left. Get out the double barrel shotgun, and you'll notice there's a, if you get sent on here, jump up, there's a crossbowman there. So, we'll ambush him. Now, you want to take care of that ogre? Notice how I hit another enemy up there? Ah, that was terrible. But yes. There is another enemy. First we'll take care of these crossbowmen. They're a bit more immediate of a threat. We'll kill the one over the other side too since we're going over there. And there should be another crossbowman down there. By the way, um, can we hit you from here? No. Anyway, press the button. A teleporter will open here, taking us back to this next area. But get your double barrel shotgun out and move out of the way as quick as possible. Go down the stairs and get them to come after you. Because Dread Knights are a lot easier to deal with, I find, on stairs. Okay. We'll pick up this health that we left here because I was pretty terrible with that situation. Hit him once with the shotgun. Take him with the axe. Okay, here you want to count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Go across. Get out the shotgun. Get behind these enemies. Now, they rarely use that attack, but oh, it makes things a lot harder when they do. Try and get that attack to hit these little guys. Anyway, once those three are dead, get out your normal shotgun and take care of these little enemies. They don't really pose a threat. But yeah, we've got some health laying around at least. And just break this open. There's another enemy around here. I can hear them. Where are you? There. Okay. So yeah, press this button. That'll raise this back up. We don't want to go up there. We want to go over here for a secret area. Some more health. We've got red armor. And a battery. Which is awesome news. We can get some more thunderbolt action in. And that brings us back up here. Right? That's where we came from. So we're on the side we want to be. There's an enemy here. You can see by the sword. Get the axe out. Hit him. Lower the health. Don't pick it up if you have as much health as I do. That switch there just lowers that again. Okay, since we killed the enemy here before, we have nothing to worry about. But, we do want to hit the switch and move back as quick as possible. So, because that drops down and all these enemies come out. Since there's an ogre there that's shooting grenades, you have an opportunity to call some infighting. Take care of the crossbowmen, though. Notice how they're all getting knocked back? That's a shockwave from the hammer. Okay. Once you feel like they've had enough fun, get out your double barrel shotgun, just peek some shots here. Make sure that Ogre doesn't get you with any grenades, it's possible, see? So now that Ogre's dead, pick off the fiends. Since that fiend's occupied, since these weapons are projectile now, you have to aim above it. Just imagine where the bullets will go, and you're all set. So yeah, um, we'll jump down here with the axe. Do 
the same thing we did outside. All sweet. Okay, so. We want to get out the Thunderbolt. <laughs> because when we press the button, this will lower with a new enemy. And the faster it's dead, the better. Because he jumps like that and does that. But we've got another secret here. So, we need a grenade jump. Okay, now that's all done. We'll get out the nail gun, because there's nails there. We'll take care of this wizard. Then we'll drop back down, grab the extra nails, go back up. I was hoping to hit him from down there, but I'm not sure if he spawns in that quick. But anyway, we've got armor. May as well grab it. Oh, we can't grab it, because we've still got a lot of red armor. Um, but yeah, pressing this button will lower this gate, as well as that key. And, once you go up the stairs, the door will open with a shambler behind it. Not ideal. So, that's why we left the mega health there. Because after you kill a shambler, another one of the enemies come in that do their hit scan immolation. So, we'll do that. That was actually a fluke. <laughs> Alright, so now that they're all doing their thing... Take care of them like that. Now I'll go and take care of the Shambler. Same rules as always when fighting shamblers. And... Yeah. Alright, now that's taken care of, we can go over here to where we broke the window earlier to jump in the switch I was talking about. And what that does is move that forward and exposes a switch, which opens this wall here. Now, we've got 6 out of 12 secrets. 7 out of 12? Go over to the end here, you can break this with the axe, or any weapon, just use the axe so you don't waste ammo. We've got another secret, 8 out of 12. Alright. That will get us the flesh key. Which means we'll go get the Widowmaker. Because it'll make a lot of the trash mobs that are a bit more bullet spongy, much easier to deal with. Okay. So the Widowmaker was through here. It's a three-barreled shotgun. So yeah, uses three shells instead of one. And we go back in here, and that takes us back to the hub area. Just came this way, so it's um apparent. Don't skip any details. So yeah, those come alive, as I said earlier. And we've got the silver key, so we go through here. New enemies, get out the grenade launcher. Shoot three of them. Then, use the Widowmaker. Three grenades. Widowmaker. Okay. <clears throat> then we'll get the Shredder. We want to face backwards while walking here. And you want to run all the way backwards to the other end of the room. So you'll equip the Shredder. Start firing as soon as you hit the button. It'll stun lock that enemy. Alright, now once those are dead, make circles around the room, because all of these statues come alive. You've got a couple of Dread Knight ones, focus them last. But you have heaps of space here to manoeuvre, so take advantage of that. <clears throat> We've got a lot of nails here as well to pick up. Okay, now there's a couple of spiders. Well, one spider. When you press this book here, you'll see it poking out. It says, it's titled Memento Mori. This book reminds you of your own death. Memento Mori means remember that you will die. So when we go through onto this elevator, have the super nail gun equipped, back onto it like this, and as soon as you step out here, start shooting. So you can avoid dealing with that enemy altogether. Okay, 
So we're going back out this way now. Yeah, okay, so it's in their stumble animation, you can't knock them down. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So, now that this is open, I'm going to get the super nail gun out again. Focus on that first. Then get the Widowmaker out. Take care of the ogre. Then get the ammo in the room. Alright, you want to get the super nail gun again. Go in here, get the armor, back out. Take care of that enemy first. But yeah, be very wary of that. I don't know what they're called, but you know. Another one will spawn up there. But we have a bunch of trash mobs. Finish them off with the rocket launcher. We have plenty of rockets at this point. We haven't been using them much. Alright. So, we'll grab this health first. Then we'll rocket jump up here for a secret. Mega health. Alright, and with the rocket launcher still equipped, you see how we're back in the starting area? We go down and get as many nails as we need. There's rockets over here too. And then the enemies will start spawning in. Just be relentless, because this is a tough fight. Let's focus this enemy first. It's a hit scan immolation. Use as many rockets as you need, because we get a lot of them. Right, yeah. Now that that's done, we want to start circle strafing around this area, because we have homing projectiles chasing after us whenever these blue knights attack us with the flails. Alright. Now we need to kill all of them. You can use a Widowmaker to jib these zombies, by the way. But yeah, focus the airborne enemies first. If you keep running around in circles and you don't get caught up on any enemies, you will not get hit. Unless, oh well, you do need to remain um, vigilant of that. But, yeah. If you don't want to clear them up, just make some sharp turns. Finish them off with a super nail gun. Since we've got a bunch of nails here. And yeah, get those projectiles destroyed. Ugh. There we go. Okay. Now to pick up the remaining ammo here. Um, also, if you don't want to use a Widowmaker, you can also use the Bone Key here to get the Plasma Rifle, or the Pulse Rifle, or whatever it's called. Same sort of thing. Um, but it has splash damage, and it can take down most enemies very quickly. But yeah, back at the starting area here, another secret. A useless one, an environmental suit. And I originally thought that it was going to be useful, and it was just lying, because there's a pool of blood over in this room. If you stand in it, it tricks you, because there's healing. There's a healing pool in the hub area. And this looks like it, but yeah. So yeah, we'll just take care of these enemies in the Widowmaker. If you want to use a shotgun, because it, uh, the rocket launcher, because it kills them quick. So even with the environmental suit, blood for the necromancer, it hurts you. So yeah, um, the next thing to do is go back this way with the rocket launcher ready. Fire two rockets, then finish off the stone dread knight with the Widowmaker. And go through here with the rocket launcher equipped, two rockets on each enemy. And you're sweet. So... We've got the bone key. That's right. Do I want the mega health? Maybe I'll go back. Because I confused myself. The flesh key gets the Widowmaker. Okay. So we'll get the pulse rifle then. It'll make the last section a lot easier. Instead of wasting a lot of ammo with the Thunderbolt, this goes through it at a decent rate, but still does high DPS. So, I'm going to go over here. Since we've done both seals, this opens. Dead rangers, you know something's up. 
There's a whole bunch of weapons too. But there's a secret right here. Once you get the secret, rush in through here, get the armor, kill the fiends. As quick as you can. Alright, now this is going to raise up. The idea here is that it will keep raising up every time you defeat a raise of, oh, wave of enemies. So yeah, we want to be quick. We have health and armor that respawns at the bottom if you ever need it. We'll get the Widowmaker out for this one and take care of these enemies. Okay, once that's done, I'm going to jump down here and get some more ammo because it's needed. Then we jump into these teleporters to get back to the top. Right, for this one, just use a Widowmaker. We don't want to use our explosives yet. Jib them with a shotgun. Now the idea is before you clear all these ground-based enemies, is to kill the Scrags. So on the last zombie, make sure all the Scrags are dead. Because once you kill the last zombie, the floor will start raising. We'll have to go back down there, but we will be, I can assure you that. Alright, so this one, stand here and kill the Vores, because they suck. I hate them. <laughs> Alright, once they're dead, we'll jump down, take care of these remaining enemies, get the ammo we need and the health we need, since it all respawns. Then we jump back in. Alright, so kill one of those enemies, then kill the Scrags. Alright, then jump here, kill this one. Now, it's preferable if we don't jump down, get out the pulse rifle. This is the tough part. Actually, get the super nail gun out. I died here last time, but I did better this time, which is good. So, get the health. And remember, whenever you need a break. Whenever you need safety, just jump down. Okay, let's hope I don't die. Okay, we're all good. Alright. Oh no, that was a bad idea. But yeah, pulse rifle. Ah, uh, not the pulse rifle, they're actually resistant to it. Interesting to know. Because I'm learning this mod as I go. Um, this is the first level I'm trying to 100% nightmare. Alright, so in that case, we want to be using the rocket launcher. Because that enemy will keep spawning these flyers. Alright, let's jump back, back down and get some more health. But also, now that's raised to the top. Well, once we're up there, we'll trigger the last secret. So, got the armor. Now we want to stick around to the outside edge. And kill these wizards as they appear. Just keep out the Widowmaker. Get all the ammo you can. Actually, I'd advise the rocket launcher. Because these enemies hurt. I've been one hit by the Skull Wizards before, the direct hit. Um, the ones that shoot the explosive projectiles, specifically. Alright. Now that that enemy's there, drop down for the last secret. We've been saving this. Yeah. 
it'll make this a lot easier. So, just stand in front of him, spam that super nail gun, because we've got a hit scan emulation. And, yeah. Now, I need, all I need to do is go and find the last two kills to 100% this. In this huge map. In this huge map with 281 monsters. I need to find two monsters I didn't kill. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, anyway, if we take this teleporter, we'll go back to the this area. The other one takes you to the entrance. So, yeah. Um, I guess now I just check all the areas and make sure I killed everything. Now, this might be tedious, but... Uh, there's no real buds, honestly. Probably just end up fast forwarding this in the editing. Hmm. At least we only have one more left. That first enemy wasn't too hard to find. I'd imagine the other enemy is probably in a similar position. So I'm just going to go through all the areas and look at the ceiling. Because I haven't memorized where those are yet. And that's all kills. So, let's get out of here. So, all kills, all secrets. Thanks for wa watching the uh, first part of my 100% Nightmare playthrough of Arcane Dimensions. This was Necromancer's Keep. Um, I'm not sure what level I'm not going to do next, so yeah, just stay tuned and find out if you'd like. Thanks for watching.